sit as comfortably as you can. Simply be open multidimensionally to all perceptions, bodily sensations and thoughts. Without any, without commenting, without putting labels, without interpreting, just the facts, Only the facts of your experience are real, not the thoughts about the facts. The thoughts about the facts are like the map, and the facts are like the territory. So the map of a country may be useful to prepare a trip to that country, but we never replace the trip. Only the trip is real. So stick to the facts of, of your experience.
and in this experiment, try to make as little effort as possible. Like you are too tired to think about the facts. The facts are okay because they come to you effortlessly, but you don't take any action. You don't respond. You don't seek to find out. Anything. Every fact is its own explanation. And understanding has to come effortlessly, but there is no need to seek it. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. No problem. See that this State of minimum effort is also a state of freedom, free from any constraints. It's like you have nothing that to do. Everything gets done by itself, automatically. Like your digestion. You don't have to control it. Or your immune system. Of course, it's a, an artificial situation. It's an experiment. And this level of minimum effort is not devoid of dynamism, of change, of movement. It simply doesn't produce anything.
we observe some form of reluctance that opposes letting go effort that opposes your abiding in this effortless state. These are residues of ignorance that come out of the woodwork, so to speak, as you try to conduct this experiment. Because ignorance exists only in effort. So the effortless state is totally devoid of ignorance. It's a state in which we seek nothing, we want nothing, we are worried of nothing, etc. And this letting go of all effort is an instantaneous yes saying to our true nature. It's a sacred will, if you will. The reluctance, on the other hand, to let go of all effort is a form of fear of what would happen if we would do that, the fear of losing control, the fear of disappearing when the controller disappears. and allow for the universe to be in charge of everything. That's what this meditation is about. The effortless or the minimum effort state corresponds exactly to, to that. To allow for the universe to take charge of everything, in particular, to take charge of our, bo charge of our body, to take charge of the world around us, and even to take charge of our thoughts. And there is nothing to be afraid. There is no need to be afraid of letting go of the controller. Nothing bad will happen as a result. You're not going to die. It's like a child being afraid of diving into the soup the swimming pool the first time, afraid of the unknown. But after having done that once, he goes back again and again and again, and again enjoying the jump, the experience.
So when we are in this zero effort state, we are in perfect meditation. We have to know that. In other words, perfect meditation is not a extraordinary experience with angels flowing all around us, flying all around us. But this deep knowledge, I have surrendered everything in this moment. I've completely surrendered control of everything, of my body, of my thoughts, and of the world that surrounds me. That's it. So it's an easy thing to accomplish. And then to abide in this condition. And as a result, then the transformation takes place in the mind, in the, in the body. But most importantly, we get used under this very particular and specific and extraordinary conditions, we get used to that state, which is free from ignorance. And something of it remains later on when we are no longer conducting this experiment because we have to interact with the world, with others. We have to think, we have to act. But this background of peace then to which we have got accustomed during these experiments, will remain as the background of our activities, at least for some time. At the beginning, it may seem it may seem to evaporate after a while, but eventually. The perfume of this presence will be always known as peace and worrylessness. In the presence of activities and thoughts.
Don't seek a pleasurable state. Seek nothing. Too much effort. Now notice for a moment the condition of the body as it's disappearing to you after conducting this experiment for about 30 minutes. And see whether based on the bodily perceptions and the sense perceptions, whether you feel a separation between the body and the world that surrounds it, or do you feel a, it as a continuum as a an absence of war is separating the body from the world. See for yourself whether as a result of this experiment, the perception of the body and of the world has some, somehow evolved. Not that it is important, just observe. Don't reach any conclusion, just the facts. The immediacy 
of your experience of the body and of the world without interpretations, without comment, comments, without labels. And without effort, always at this zero point energy level. Thank you.